Hey crew, it's Mike with Riding in the Ozarks. And today I'm gonna to show you 25 things I take or pack going moto camping. Let's start with this one right here. This is a dry bag from Kimi Moto. It doesn't have to be this bag. It could be any kind of duffel bag or whatever. This is just the one I happen to use. By the way, there will be a link to my Amazon store for my moto camping shopping list of things I use for moto camping if you're looking to purchase any of this stuff that you see in the video and you like it. Now, one thing about this bag is on the back, on the bottom, there's a zippered pocket here. This is the number two thing I take, and that's a bunch of these little Walmart sacks. I use them as dirty clothes sacks, as trash sacks around camp, things like that. I find that very handy to keep in there. Of course, this strap has got attachments and straps for being able to attach this to your sissy bar. It's basically one big pocket on the inside. There's a small pocket here that you can get to in the outside, like if you want to keep a map or something. Um, has a drawstring pull up here. Really strong Velcro fastening in the top on the inside. Now, on the inside, there is one small pocket. It's not very big and I put some special stuff in there. I'll show you that in a second. This is a microfiber towel. I use this because it takes up a lot less space in my bag packing than a regular traditional cotton towel. Now, when I pack clothes, I put everything in a plastic Walmart bag or similar type bag. Uh, yeah, this is a dry bag, but sometimes at camp, I'll pull a bag out and if I leave that bag out, I want to be able to be in a plastic bag so you know, dew comes in the morning, it doesn't get everything wet, stuff like that. Now, I use kind of different color bags for different things. This gray bag has got my shorts, uh, swimming trunks, things like that in it. This little Harley bag is where I keep my socks and underwear. That may seem silly, but in the morning, when I pull out, crawl out of the tent and I get into this bag because I keep it by the opening of the tent, I want to reach in there and be able to get my shower kit and clean set of underwear and socks before I go to the shower house. I know which bag to look for and I don't necessarily pull the shirt bag out or have to dig through those things to get to the things that I want. This bag, white bag, is full of shirts. Now that little pocket I was talking about, I put a fire starter in there. I carry that with me. Preferably, I would like to start a fire the easy way with a lighter, and I usually carry a lighter in my pocket, but I keep one of those in the bag just in case. I also have a little headlamp here. What's nice about this headlamp is it, it tilts, so you can turn it on, but have it pointed down at the ground. So if you have to get up in the middle of the night and go find an outhouse or the shower house or something like that, you have a light that you can walk and still have your hands free. Now, once I put that in that little pocket, I zip it closed. Just a nice way to keep those little things from getting lost in this bag. Now, this is my shower kit, deodorant, shampoo, that kind of stuff, fingernail clippers in case you need them. I mean, nobody wants to be on a camping trip and get a hangnail and be stuck with that all weekend. These are inflatable air pillows. They work really good, by the way. Now, I take a set of uh, flip-flops or slip-on shoes for walking to the shower house, or if in the middle of the night I gotta get up and go find the bathroom, I don't have to put on boots or things like that. I can just slip my feet in these and go. One thing about it when you're camping is you're always trying to figure out a way to keep your stuff charged up. This is a solar powered battery bank. You can charge it the normal way, but if you use it all night, you could lay it out on the ground or hang it on a tree limb or something and let it get sunlight and it'll at least recharge it to some degree while it's sitting around camp. This one here also has a light on the end of it. You can do like an emergency flashing light and a flashlight and an SOS light pattern. So the next thing I carry is this little emergency radio. It's got an FM radio in it. It's also got a little light on the top, a little light on the side. It has a crank so that if you have to, you can crank it to recharge it so that you can charge a phone or something else off of it or so that you can get the recharge the internal battery so you can run the radio longer. And it's got a solar charging panel on the back as well. The next thing I like to pack is a Bluetooth speaker. That's great when you're all sitting around the campfire and talking and have a little background music. Now this is my rain suit and it is in a compression sack to keep it as small as possible. Pull this tight, get the Velcro all sealed up, then you just start rolling it down. Get it down tight. We've got clips on the side here. And the handle on the top makes it great to carry. 
I usually take this off the bike and set it by the entrance to the tent once we get camp set up. The other thing I pack is a saddlebag cooler that I put cold blocks in and ice and water in so that we have something cold to drink. Most campgrounds, you can usually buy ice at least. So if I have to drain some of the water out and put fresh ice on it, I can at least have some cold water or cold drinks there at the campsite. In the morning, I'm gonna go out and finish packing the bike. I'll show you everything else I put on the bike and in my other sissy bar bag that sits on my luggage rack. This bag, I strap up on the passenger seat along with the tent and sleeping bag. The next day. All right guys, this is the sissy bag on the back of my bike. It's already secured on the bike. Big flap, a couple of side pockets and a pocket there. I've had this for a couple of years now. Got it on sale at a dealership. Um, it's worked pretty good. Uh, it's held up okay in the weather. Been through rainstorms and everything else, but it's not waterproof unless you put a rain cover over it, uh, which I don't normally run. Let's, uh, it's empty right now. I'll show you and then we'll start filling the back of this up with the rest of the stuff I take. Moto camping. First thing's probably gonna be my moto camping chair. This is a Tusk chair. You guys can read that, link in the description. Great foldable chair, collapses down really well. Just the right length to fit inside my pack there. This is a uh, double person sleeping pad. It's actually like twice as wide and it fits the whole bottom of my tent pretty much, except for about six inches where we can put our shoes and stuff. So that goes in there next. We have another small moto camping chair. This one's a little cheaper, a little smaller than the Tusk, but I really love the Tusk. I'm a little bit bigger than Firecracker, so the Tusk is my chair and this is her chair now. Uh, my first aid kit, I have a whole video on my ultimate first aid kit for motorcycle. Can't really see it in here, I keep it in plastic to help protect it should I ride through a rainstorm. You don't really want wet band-aids and gauze and pads getting ruined. Stuff in there is not cheap. Let's see what else we can put in here. All right, this is my tire inflator. This is from Avid Power. You can set the pressure you want right here on digital screen it airs it up to that and stops works great this thing also works as a battery bank to charge items through usb a little light here on the back you can press and it'll light up and show you how full the power is and stuff so uh i might even see if i can find an adapter to go into this so i can air up my sleeping pad with it and not have to huff and puff that normally stays in the bike i'm putting it back in on top of that stuff Next is another item that's normally in the bike. This is a battery jumper pack. You can use it to charge phones and things like that, but you can also jumpstart a motorcycle or car. I have jumpstarted a car with this. It does work. So, and it has a little light built into it if you need it as well. Another little camping light. This one is designed that you can set it down and use it like a table light to illuminate an area and not just a spot beam. It also has a hanger, so you can hang it in the center of your tent, things like that. I've got something even better than this for inside the tent. Let me show you. Citronella candle to keep the bugs away and stuff. Just light it and burn it in the area. It'll help. Now, I really like this. I used this last time we went tent camping at Stubborn American. This has an LED light in it. I don't see, let's see. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Different brightnesses. And a fan with different speeds. So this has actually got a hook in it and you can hang it from the top of the tent, adjust it, point it at you. Uh, I'm definitely gonna need that in this heat. And then you can recharge it via USB the next day, but it'll work all night. I have used it. I can't, I'm not camping without this baby. Now, I'm taking my drone. Still got a little room left in there. I can probably put firecrackers towel and flip flops and some other things in there for her or whatever she needs. Now all I gotta do is strap on uh, my tent, my sleeping bag, and my clothes bag on the rear seat here. I'm not gonna show you guys that all, that's just, that's more about how to secure it to the bike, but this is the stuff I take moto camping. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you do that YouTube thing, check out the content on my channel. If you dig it, smash the like button down below. I'll let you guys know how the camping trip goes and maybe show you the campground. That'll be in another video. As always, you guys stay safe and keep on riding.